Okay, so let's say we have a number, whether we randomly generate it, which we'll look at in a moment. We went over that in a previous video. But let's say I have this number. I'm just going to run my finger across the keyboard a few times. You know, I can echo that out. Um, there's no commas in there, which makes it kind of hard to read. Uh, one, I'm going to show you three different ways to add commas into these numbers. Uh, and this first way is using a sed command, uh, which is kind of long and lengthy, but basically we're, you know, we're looking for numbers, I think at three, this is just some code that I have found and have used, uh, but it's looking for numbers, sets of threes, and adding a comma is basically what's going on here. I do that, and you can see we get commas every three numbers. I know different countries do things different. Some countries put commas where we put periods and periods where we put commas, but general idea. Um, so that's one way to do it, uh, kind of ugly and sloppy. Although said is a very common tool. Another tool that I don't see used much, but is part of the core tool library. Uh, so your package manager, you probably already have this installed, but it's called core utilities, I think, is the package this is in. It's the num format, I'm assuming is what that stands for. And uh, what we can do is we can say dash dash grouping, and we can give it a number. So I'll just get, again, give it a big long number here. And you can see it put commas in there. And you can even shorten that up. You can just do dash dash g for the same thing. Now, uh, in the last, with uh, said, we were piping into it, which is sometimes useful. So I can say echo and I can give it a number. And um, this num format dash dash g will accept piping. So that works as well. Uh, both of those are external tools. Uh, we can use printf, which is built into our bash shell. So this will be uh, a pure bash thing, printf. Uh, and what we're going to say here is percent apostrophe D, and then we will give it a number like so, and you can see it put commas. Now you notice it doesn't give a new line at the end of that, that's because printf doesn't by default. We can say backslash n and that will give it a new line at the end of that. So that's great. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a way to pipe into uh, printf. Uh, I tried that and didn't work. Uh, so what we could do is we could pass it something else. So for example, in a previous video, I showed you that you could use the shuff command uh, and give it some arrange. So we'll just say, uh, we'll give it from there to one, two, three, four, five, sure, something like that, dash n1, and that will give us a random number each time we run it, which is nice, uh, between those two, uh, two ranges of numbers, uh, or two ranges those two numbers, the range of numbers between those two, something like that. Anyway, um, and of course, we could pipe this into our sed command. So we're going to generate a random number. And I'm just going to paste our sed command again because it's kind of long and I have do not have it memorized. And there you go. You can see each time we run this, it gives us a random number with the commas in the right spot. We can make that a little bit longer maybe yeah. just so we can see some more commas in there to show. There you go. That is putting commas in there. Uh, and of course, just like before, we can use the num format dash dash g, and it will do the same thing. But let's say we want to create a random number and put the commas in there using printf. Uh, so what we would do is we'd say printf, just like before, quotations inside the quotations, we're going to say percent apostrophe d, uh, and we'll give it that new line character. Why not, right? Uh, and then I'm going to do back tick, back tick. Uh, that's one way to run a command and have the output put there. So I'll just say I and I'll say, and I'll say five. So there we go, and dash n for one. And so now I am running that script to get a random number, and printf will put in the commas where we want them. And of course, we're doing the new line there with the dash n, but we can also. Uh, prepend stuff or append stuff to this if I want. So I can say the number is, and I can say this, and I can go boop, and it prints out the number is this with the proper commas in there. I can also say something like, you have one, and I'll give it a dollar sign here. And now it's printing out you have one, and it's giving you, you know, a dollar amount. Uh, so that's one way of uh, 
generating something or getting the output of a command and using printf, even though I, I don't know if you can you know, pipe to standard input on printf. I'm unaware if you're able to. If you can, and someone knows, let me know in the comments below. Uh, but I hope you found this useful. I'll try to remember to link to these examples in the description of this video. And as always, thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.